Hello, my lovelies. How is everybody today? Uh, welcome back to the channel, Anxiety or Adventures. Whee! Okay, so today I'm working on the White Tiger from Diamond Art Club. It's a partial. Um, looks like this. Beautiful, beautiful. Only has 16 colors, so I'm good with that. Um, and it is a 20 by 20 inch, so 51 by 51 centimeter. And um, I am working on this, um, A, because it's a partial, B, it's not huge, and C, uh, Mrs. Coffee is doing a um, DP along, so she's working on this and said anybody who has it, feel free to work on it with her. So that is what I am doing. Um, it is a square kit, which those of you that have been following my channel know that I am not a fan of square kits. And the reason for that is, uh, for those of you that are new here, um, that don't know, um, I am very OCD. So trying to line up the square drills is troublesome for me uh, just because I'm a perfectionist and I'm trying not to be. Um, yeah, sorry, I'm putting some wax paper down because my hand is sticking. Um, so yeah, so I just have a hard time trying to line up the squares so they're perfect and that's that's just me. That's just that's just how I am. So yeah. And the other thing is, is these, um, these are smaller than round drills. And until I get my glasses, I am having kind of a hard time seeing this, um, which I'm glad I have the light pad. So I'm sorry if the light pad bothers some of you, but I have to have it in order to see what I'm doing. Um, yeah, so I am working just, I'm kind of doing it different this time. I did not cover this with parchment paper. I'm actually working with the plastic. So I am working up until this point, like where the pink ends on his nose. Um, and I am just going through all of my colors. Um, what I'm doing is I'm going through the colors in numeric order. So I did all of the whiskers, which is the 141 AB. Then I did all of the 310, which is the black. Now I'm working on C, which is a gray. So I'm just gonna go down the list of colors on this lower section and then just move up as I go. I'm gonna try and do it that way and see um, how it goes. So how is everyone doing today? Uh, on this lovely, well, when you all see this, it'll be Thursday. I'm recording it on Wednesday. Yes. And I'm using my new pen from Bella's DP Pen Shop. Really like it. It is beautimous. Beautimous. And then my new cover minder from the same shop. So cute. Y'all can see that without the glare. Sorry. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm really impressed with the shop. Um, just the amount of detail that went into the order I was really impressed so um, I did a video I put that video out yesterday so check that video out I got some new pens from Jim and then I got this pen and I do have some more things on the way because you know yeah uh, we did our taxes, finally, oh my gosh. Um, well, let me rephrase that. My husband did the taxes. I don't do the taxes. So, um, since I don't work, <clears throat> the only thing that I have to give to my husband, <clears throat> excuse me, to do the taxes are what I paid um, on my car taxes. We have um, personal property tax here in Virginia. So we have to pay that twice a year. So I had to get him the amounts that I paid on that and then any interest on my savings accounts, um, which I have quite a few of those. So um, I had all that information, gave it to him. So he went ahead and knocked that out. 
And we actually, we actually got, you know, we got a refund. Um, we usually do get a refund because my husband claims zero on his taxes, so he'll get the most back. Um, but it was a little bit less this year than it was last year. Um, but we still got a nice, a nice amount back. So, um, yeah, so we split that. So he gets half of it and I get half of it. So I get to use some on my wonderful hobbies. Yay. Yeah. Who doesn't enjoy that, right? So yeah, we finally got that finished. Um, we did that last weekend. And yeah, there's so much confetti in this diamond painting, you guys. It's insane. Like every time I think I've finished a section, they just like, they pop up. They just breed all over the page. It's crazy, crazy. Um, and as you can tell, I mean, these are not straight. I, I'm, I'm trying really hard to keep them straight. But I keep telling myself, once once I get more of the diamonds on the page, they'll start clicking in with each other and everything will just look a lot better. And I know nobody's going to be up on it going, oh my gosh, your drills aren't straight. Because if somebody did come up and tell me that, they would get bitch slapped. I'll, I'll just be really frank with you. <laughs> Be like, look, you try to sit here and do this for days and days and days and then try and tell me they're not straight. So, yeah. I really just shouldn't let it bother me. So, but you know what? I'm, I'm actually doing a square cut. So, there's a step, right? I wanted this image. I really wanted to get this cut when it first came out. And I was like, hmm... It's a square. All my other square diamond paintings that I've gotten are just sitting in my back room unopened. Um, or they've been opened and I've, I've shown them to you like an unboxing, but then, you know, they're just sitting. Um, yeah. So I have to decide if I'm going to actually do them or if they're going to find new homes. I don't know yet. Not sure. Debating. We're gonna we're gonna see how I do through this one and then yeah. We'll go from there. But it's not as bad as I thought. Um I'm doing okay. I mean I actually so far I've actually enjoyed it. Um I've been able to use my multiplacer quite a bit, which is nice. Um it's not as bad as what I hyped myself up to think it would be. <laughs> Let me know in the comments below. I know, I think I've asked this before, but um, if you diamond paint, do you prefer round or do you prefer square or do you not care? Can do either or. Um, let me know. Um, I did go to Dreamer Designs. I watched Mrs. Coffee's video on her review of um, some unboxings from the Dreamer Designs 2.0. Um, I had not been familiar with the company until... Uh, I had watched a few videos. Um, one thing I do not like about the company is all of their designs, from what I can tell, are square drills. I, I didn't see an option for round drills. Um, I didn't see any kits. The ones that I looked at weren't available in round drills. Um, so that, that bugs me a little bit. I think there should be some variety um, in a company where you can choose you know, square kits or round drill kits. Um, so that bugged me a little bit. And then looking through their site, and this is just my personal opinion, so please don't, please don't hate down below. Um, it seemed like all of their images were, um, I'm going to use Mrs. Coffee's term, very oversaturated with color. Um, they just, they were just too bright. Um, I really didn't see any that I would do um, that that looked like the image it was supposed to look like. Um, the Chuck Pensons on there are beautiful. Uh, I don't really know what happened with the whole Chuck Penson thing and, and Diamond Art Club. Um, 
you know, I, I thought that when an artist um, signed up with a company like that, they were only going to do artwork with that company, but who knows? Who knows? I don't, I don't want to get involved in any of that, so probably shouldn't have even brought it up, so sorry. Um, but the Chuck Pensons on Dreamer Designs websites, the images are gorgeous, and I love Chuck Penson. I have quite a few of his diamond paintings um, sitting in the back room. Um, but yeah, they're they're gorgeous. They're just the colors do not match on on Dreamer Designs. I I went through them. I was actually thinking of buying um, a couple of them, and I just I don't like them. I don't like how the final image is going to turn out. I know Mindy got um, a couple of Chuck Pensons, and I do like the especially the one she showed with the horses. I do like that one. That one's very pretty. It's just, I feel like the colors are just too bright and not realistic to what the actual artwork is. So, um, I'm going to wait and see how, you know, see some results from, um, some people that actually bought some, some paintings, um, and see how it goes. Um, but yeah, uh, but on a first, just a first, whim I'm not too not too impressed not too impressed and y'all know I'm honest so I'm gonna I'm gonna tell you how it is and if you don't like it I'm sorry sorry not sorry I don't know <laughs> um yeah so anyway um and I saw the diamond art club um I saw it today and I don't know when it came out but Bailey J Brizzo I'm probably butchering that name, has four new uh, kits on Diamond Art Club, and they are adorable. They are adorable. Not really my style, but man, they are cute, cute, cute. So definitely go check that out on Diamond Art Club. Um, I just, I saw it on an Instagram announcement or post today from Diamond Art Club that they had uh, new kits from her, so check that out very cool all right so what's been going on with me this week um the weather's been insane um today i think we're supposed to get to a high of like 68 what <laughs> i mean i know we're in march but we've had no snow this year i'm really bummed about that and it's just don't get me wrong, it's been cold, but it hasn't been as cold as it should be. Um, I'm, gonna, I'm a little fearful about that because that means we're going to have, A, we're going to have a ton of pollen. Uh, B, <clears throat> we're going to have more than the normal amount of insects. Ugh. Y'all, I don't do insects. Mm -mm. If I see something flying, I start running. I, I am not an insect person at all. So, yeah. Uh, a little worried about that, but, you know, we'll see how it goes. Uh, yeah, so the weather's been crazy. Um, and I saw the, the those horrible tornadoes in Tennessee. Anybody that lives in Tennessee, um, my thoughts and prayers go out to you and all of your family and friends. Just devastating um, I couldn't even look at, at all of the images. It's just horrible, horrible. So, um, yeah, I'm, I'm thinking about everybody that lives in Tennessee. Um, yeah, just awful. Um, uh, what else is going on? Oh, so tomorrow, or when you see this today, Thursday, uh, my husband actually is taking me out for our anniversary. Um, as you recall, I was too sick on our anniversary to go out. Um, I was still on my antibiotics, and I was like, look, if I'm going to go to this place that we normally go to, I want to be able to have a glass of wine and taste my food. You know, I mean, this is like a $200 dinner, you know, so... I want to make sure that we can enjoy it. So, uh, yeah, so we're going to go to that tonight, Thursday. 
and I'm excited. Um, it's called Buckheads, and um, you can look up an article. Daniel Radcliffe, you know, Harry Potter, uh, actually came here and went and ate there and just raved about it. So uh, that actually bumped up the amount of people that went there because it is just a it's in like a strip shopping center like I, I don't want to say run down but it's been there for a while and it's next to like an AC Moore so it's like it's not where you would find like your high-end uh, steak place um, so it's kind of off the beaten path a little bit but it's just fabulous so when we go um, we always got uh, escargot as the appetizer. It is fabulous. I am usually not a fan of escargot, but the way they make it here, oh my goodness. They serve it in garlic and butter, and it's just, it is fabulous. And if anybody has not had escargot, it's almost kind of like, it's got the same consistency as like a clam, like a it's a little bit chewy, um, but it's not bad. It's not bad. And if you cook it right, it, it tastes pretty good. So anyway, we usually get that. And then of course we're going to get steak because they have just fabulous steak there. I usually get a filet. Uh, my husband will probably get a ribeye. He's a big ribeye person. So yeah. And then you get, you know, your, your vegetable and your potatoes as your side. Um, yeah. Everything is a la carte though. Um, all the sides and stuff. That's why it, it, it adds up a little bit. But I'm hoping, I'm hoping if my husband was smart, which he is, but not when it comes to things like this. I'm hoping if he called when he made the reservation, if you tell him that you're celebrating something, usually they'll they'll give you a dessert or something for free. So maybe he mentioned that. Who knows? Who knows? So yeah. So that's what we're going to do tonight. So that means I have to get dressed up. It's a dressy place, you guys. I have to put on real pants, like dressy pants, dressy top. I can't wear my my little sketchers. <laughs> I have to actually wear flats, like dressy flats, and wear makeup and do my hair, and yeah, it's it's a big deal. <laughs> I don't even know if I remember how to do my hair. Speaking of hair, let's talk about that. So, <coughs> excuse me. Ooh. Um, so I am trying to grow my hair out, and it is becoming rather. Uh, tedious because uh, my hair used to be in a pixie cut and then I grew it out to like a layered bob so now I'm trying to grow it all out the same length and I I want to absolutely just shave my head at this point um, I really do uh, hold on I'm getting some coffee Um, yeah, so I just want to shave my head because the layered part, I have one more layer to grow out. Um, and it's like that one little layered part will not go back in a ponytail. The rest of it I can get in a ponytail and that is epic, epic for me. Um, I haven't been able to put my hair in a ponytail in probably... Mm, eight years, something like that. Because I've usually kept my hair pretty short, especially when I was working. That way I could just, you know, hop in the shower, put some product in it and go. Um, I didn't even have to use a hair dryer because um, it was, it was short. It was short. I'll have to find some pictures um, and show you. Well, I might not because I was, I was really overweight then, but, um, yeah, so 
I can get most of it in a ponytail, which is awesome because it's off my face. But at the same time, this one little piece on my right side just just keeps falling out of it. It's driving me insane. So when I went to see Joel, uh, Joel invited all of us over for dinner last weekend. Um, I'll talk about that in a minute. Um, and I was like, you, you've got to fix this. I mean, how do we fix this one side that just keeps coming down into my face? And he was like, well, what we should do is just go ahead and cut all of your hair up to that level. I was like, the hell you are? No. And he was like, okay, well, then you're going to need to, like, start bobby pinning or putting a clip in on that side. And I'm just, I'm not a bobby pin or clip person. I don't, no, 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 no. He was like, you could get away with, like, a stretchy headband, which I do have one of those. Um, and I can wear that around the house, which that's fine. But I'm not going to go out in that. Um, I'm not going to do it. Nope. I just, I don't know why. I'm just, I've never been one to wear a headband or clips or anything like that, like outside of the house. Like when I leave the house and go somewhere other than, you know, other than just like the post office or <clears throat> the grocery store or somewhere, you know, quick where I'm just going to be in and out. I, I'm the type of person I have to like have my hair done I have to, you know, look presentable. That's just how I was raised. I was raised that, like, when you when you go out, you need to look nice. Um, and my mom used to, she used to scare me. She'd be like, what happens if, like, God forbid, you're in some kind of accident or whatever, and, and you want to make sure you have, like, you know, nice underwear on if they have to cut your clothes off and you want to make sure your legs are shaved and like, oh my gosh, just on and on and on and on. I'm like, look, no, no, no. So yeah, speaking of which, I gotta, I gotta do that. I gotta shave the legs too. Yikes. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't really do that much in the winter time. I'll be really honest. Um, cause I wear pants all the time. What does it matter? Um, Adam doesn't care, so, yeah, uh, let's see, so, yeah, so, anyway, trying to grow the hair out, and it's driving me crazy, but, um, my husband wants me to try and grow it out and see what it looks like long, and if it doesn't, if it doesn't work, then I'll cut it back up to, like, you know, the base of my neck, and just have an angled bob, and leave it at that, because I do like that. And I thought about doing funky colors with my hair, but oh my gosh, my mom, she's so old school and she just, she gives me like the biggest guilt trip. She keeps saying, okay, you, you do what you want to do. You're an adult, but just remember, you know, is that going to look, you know, like somebody who's 46 years old, if you have pink hair, it's like, come on, you know? got to understand when I was, I was raised in the eighties. Um, and the way I was raised was, okay, if you go out, you're, you're going to be dressed up. You're going to look nice. Like I just said, you're going to be, you know, very presentable. Oh, okay. Here's a good example. So like if we flew anywhere, like if we got on an airplane, we could not wear jeans. We had to wear like nice dress pants, dressy top, nice shoes. It's like, what? <laughs> and I mean, back then that's, that's what people did. Like they, they dressed up to get on an airplane. Um, it wasn't just me or my family. I mean, I looked at everybody around me and yeah, people were dressed up. See, now, no, I'm going to wear, like, leggings, you know, my Skechers, a comfy, like, sweatshirt, t-shirt, whatever. Um, yeah, I'm going to be comfortable. Um, yeah. So, 
we'll see how that goes. I'll I'll keep you posted on the on the hair the hair thing. I mean, I am trying to grow it out, so we shall see. We shall see. Okay, so um, yeah, back to dinner last weekend at Joel. So I mentioned before in my other video that Joel made us a fabulous pot roast in a pressure cooker. It was Dr. Pepper pot roast and he just made it with some Dr. Pepper and um, some spices and in the pressure cooker. Okay. I don't understand a pressure cooker. I've never used one. I don't care to use one because they scare me. Just the thought. I mean, the word pressure. Okay. I'm, I'm deathly afraid of fire. I'm deathly afraid of things blowing up. So I'm not going to use things that are going to encourage that. So anyway, we had this dinner and I was like, oh, it's fabulous, you know, and I was being polite, which it, the meat was very good. I'm not, I'm not saying I was fibbing about that. I had seconds, which I don't, I don't eat seconds, y'all. Um, but I was being polite. I was like, oh, wow, you cooked it in the pressure cooker. That's so cool. You know, making conversation. Well, my husband apparently thought that by me saying it was so cool and what an awesome idea to put it in a pressure cooker. He took it upon himself to go ahead and buy one and it showed up on my doorstop uh, yesterday. Um, what? <laughs> I never said I wanted a pressure cooker. And I was like, I called him and I was like, what is this shit? What is this sitting here? Um, on the front, on the front porch. Uh, let me move this down a little bit. You can see what I'm doing. Um, he was like, oh, it's a pressure cooker. I got one because I figured, you know, he goes, I figured uh, we could try it. I was like, what is this we shit? There's no we shit. I'm the one that cooks dinner. You know, I'm the one that usually has dinner ready for him when he gets home. I'm old school in that aspect. I try really hard. Um, he usually gets home around 545, anywhere between 545 and 6. I have dinner ready for him when he gets home. So, and that way we can just, you know, he gets home, he takes off his jacket, he changes his pants and puts on his comfy clothes. And then we just sit down and we have dinner. Um, that's just something I've always done um, since I quit working. So, so I was like, what is this wee shit? You know, I'm going to have to use this thing when I'm here by myself. I'm scared to death of it. And yeah, okay. Uh huh. He was like, oh, it's not that bad, and there are directions, and we're going to go through it, and blah, blah, blah. I was like, I'm going to blow up my house. It does. It scares the crap out of me. It scares the crap out of me. Um, it, will the food be awesome in it? Probably. Probably. Um, I know there are a bunch of recipes. People have told me um, that there are a bunch of recipes you can find for it online. I think it actually came with a recipe book, um, in the box. So yeah, so I'm going to look at that, but I think what I'm going to do the first time around is I'll, I'll make something over the weekend while Adam's home. Um, that way I won't be as freaked out. I'm sorry. I'm looking because the H's and the C's are very close together on the same color. Same with the down arrows. So there's a lot of gray. Um, so I'm just looking because I'm working like the right side of, of this right now. All right. So I think I got all the C's, I think. So yeah. So do any of you have a pressure cooker? Let me know in the comments below. Um, does it scare any of you? Like it scares me. And if you do have one and you like it and it doesn't scare you, what have you cooked in it? And what is your favorite meal out of a pressure cooker? And I know people have said that you can use, um, you can use the pressure cooker as a crock pot, but I have, I have a crock pot. I have a ninja. I haven't even used my ninja. Um, 
so I don't need another crock pot. And this thing is not little, you guys. Not little. I mean, it is, it is a very, it came in a very large box. <laughs> I was like, what's happening right now? What is this on my front doorstep? And then I saw the words on the side. I was like, oh boy. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So he got me in his spot. Okay, let me move this a little bit further down. There we go. Yeah. Okay, so yeah. All right, the other thing I want to talk about is, um, okay, so uh, Sean went to the grocery store um, a couple days ago. I think it was Monday. Anyway, and he called me from the grocery store, as he always does, and says, hey, do you need anything? And I'm like, no, I'm good, thank you. Um, and he was like, this is really weird. I said, what? He goes, um, I was just looking for a little thing of hand sanitizer um, to carry with me. Because his job, he goes to a lot of different places because he's, he's a lighting tech and an audio tech. So that he goes to like hotels and like, you know, big theaters and stuff like that where you're going to be around a lot of people. Um, so he just wanted to have like a little pocket hand sanitizer with him just, you know, just because. Because um, he can't always just be able to uh, wash his hands. Sorry, I didn't move the light. <coughs> Excuse me. Um... So he was like, this is really weird. I was like, what's that? He was like, um, I see where there's soap. He said, but the whole bottom shelf is empty. Where there would be hand sanitizer. I was like, really? He was like, yeah. So I was like, hmm, that's weird. So I said, okay, well, let me just um, look up online and see if the other food line has it. Y'all, that was a mistake. Because then, no, they didn't have it. And then, so I started looking up, like, Amazon. I was like, well, I'll just get it on Amazon, have it shipped here, and you can come get it. Because he can't get anything shipped to his apartment because they won't take boxes at the front office. And he doesn't want boxes just sitting in front of his door, which I don't buy them. So anytime he orders something off Amazon, he just has it shipped here. So I went on Amazon, and I was like, hmm. Okay, why are th why is there no hand sanitizer coming up? You guys, Amazon, after I did some research, Amazon pulled all of their hand sanitizer from from their site. And apparently, from what I read, um it's because sellers were just jacking the prices up. Um everybody's gone crazy with the hand sanitizer. Uh, because of the coronavirus, which, okay, I know the coronavirus is, it is a scary thing. I mean, I agree with that. Um, shit, we've, we've canceled our trip because of it, which is the smart thing to do. I know. Um, but this is going to turn into like, to me, I feel like this is going to turn into like panic mode where people are just going to start buying things unnecessarily. Yeah, it's just, yeah. Anyway, I probably shouldn't even talk about it because I know people are going to have different opinions on this. Um, all I can say is, like, just wash your hands on a regular basis. Just, you know, use, use some common sense. I mean, yeah. I'm not going to freak out, though, and, like, be like, oh, my God, I have to go buy the store. Anyway, okay, so talked about that. Um, what else do we talk about? Let's see. Oh, I saw where Pippa, I haven't watched her video yet. I'll probably do that tonight. Um, she actually did a video on the green challenge that I did uh, for my Facebook group. So I definitely want to watch that. Um, for those of you that don't know, um, we are doing a color anything using only greens. You can use white and black um, as fillers, but you have to use only greens. Um, yeah, so we're doing that. And if you 
post it in the group, um, you'll have a chance to be the header for St. Patrick's Day. So yeah. So I will have all that information is down below for the Facebook group. But yeah, so Pippa did a video uh, showing me, or showing all of you, me, listen to me, um, showing uh, her Johanna Basford uh, page that she colored in all green markers. I was surprised she used markers because Johanna Basford's pages are double-sided. So I was like, oh my gosh, you're ruining the other side, Pippa. Um, but apparently that doesn't bother her. Like I said, I haven't watched, um, I haven't watched the whole video, so I just, I know she was using markers, and I know she was using a Johanna Basford book, so <laughs> I was like, ooh, it's going to make me twitch a little, but that's okay. Oh my gosh, these are all so crooked. All so crooked. It's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. Yeah, this is going to take me a little bit because of how much confetti is in this thing. All right, who else is working on this? How far have you gotten on it if you're working on it? I'm curious. Curious, curious. Oh, and your patty wax today is pear berry. This is my favorite one. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. Yeah, as you can tell, I've been tearing it up back here. Um, and I don't have to keep it warm. I just leave it out on my desk and it's fine. Um, so I don't have to sit on it or, um, I guess because the weather is warmed up, I can just leave it out. And we keep our house, um, at 68 or above. So, yeah. Yeah, in the summer, um, we usually keep our house at like 73 with the AC on. And then the heat stays at 68. Um, you don't want to go above that because... Yeah, then your electric bill will go woo through the roof. <clears throat> yes, yes. So yeah, on Monday, <clears throat> excuse me, on Monday I have our heating and air conditioning people coming out to do our preventative maintenance. Um, we just recently, well, a year ago, a year ago May, uh, had all of our HVAC system replaced. Uh, when we bought this house, the HVAC system was from like the nineties. I mean, it was, it was bad. Uh, we tried to get, uh, y'all probably can't see what I'm doing. Let me move this over a little bit. Um, we tried to get the owners of the house to replace it. Um, and they wouldn't do it. And we wanted the house, so I was like, okay, well, yeah. Uh, we'll just deal with it. And to be honest with you, the inspector was like, you have maybe a year before this thing's going to die. Um, and that was in 2015. Yeah, we replaced it last year. So, 20, yeah, May of 2019, we replaced it. Uh, so it lasted four years you know, longer than what he thought it would. So that's good. Um, but yeah, so we have brand new system and when you purchase from this company that we got it from, um, you get a, uh, obviously you get a warranty on it, but then you also have the option of a um, maintenance contract where they will come out twice a year and make sure that your systems are running the way they need to be and prep them for, you know, in this instance, it'll be prep it for spring. And then they come out in the fall and prep it for winter. So, yeah, so I've got them coming out. So I called because I got an email saying, you know, call us to schedule it, blah, blah, blah. So I called and she was like, oh, yeah, we've got an appointment for, you know, tomorrow at, at 7.30 a.m. I'm like, or it's set tomorrow at 7.30, I said, in the morning? I literally told her that. Like, that just came out of my mouth without me thinking. And she was like, yeah. I said, uh, no. No, 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 no. No show. No, no. 
she started laughing. She goes, okay, so you're not a morning person. I'm like, no. No, nobody's coming to this house before like 10 o'clock. She was like, okay, well, we've got Monday. How about Monday at 10 o'clock? I'm like, mm, do you have anything later? She was like, how about Monday between 12 and 4? I was like, that works great. Um, yeah, that works fabulous. The only bad thing is, is I usually record for Tuesday on Monday. So, ooh, I don't know how that's going to go. So we'll see. All right, am I running out of wax? No. Yeah, so I've got them coming out Monday, and then um, we had our driveway redone a couple years ago. Like, they had to rip it out and basically redo it because we live, um, <clears throat> our we live on a hill. So our driveway, like, goes, when you pull in our driveway, you go down, and there's a dip where we have a big creek, and then you go up. Well, where the dip over the creek was, it had started to cave in and it, it had gotten to the point where it was not safe according to a couple of people that came out to inspect the driveway so we went ahead and fixed that and now we have to get it sealed um, and so that company called I had been put on their list to have our driveway sealed in the spring so that company called and was like do you still want to be on you know, the spring list for April. I'm like, yes. So we're going to get that done. It, what's going to suck about that is when they do that, you can't drive on your driveway. I think it's for two days. Um, not that I really drive anywhere anyway, but that means we're going to have to park our cars up on the street, which I'm not a fan of at all. Um, I'm a garage baby. I, 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 I'm bougie in that aspect. I've had a garage for a long time. So I don't I don't like parking my car on the street. And on top of that, we have some teenagers in the neighborhood that don't know how to drive uh, respectfully. And they go flying through here. And we, our house is at the intersection of like a T. So like, so like here's our road and then here's another road and then our driveway is like right here so they come flying through that intersection without stopping you know when i when we're trying to back out of the driveway or what have you and i just it's crazy it's crazy people just people don't know how to drive like at all like they think they just own the road I don't know why people feel like they have to just drive really fast through the neighborhood. Um, especially people that are walking, you know, their dogs and have young children. And it just drives me crazy. Watch, I'm going to end up being one of those old ladies that sits at the top of the driveway and yells at people. <laughs> uh, slow down. Yeah, that would be me. I would totally do it too. So... People are just, just, they, they don't care about anything other than I have to get to where I'm going, you know? It's like, okay, if you're going to speed like that, go do that out on the main road. Don't do that in a neighborhood full of children and pets. It's just awful. Awful. Because this is a really nice neighborhood where you can, you know, uh, there are all kinds of, you know, roads, setback that are, you know, in the neighborhood. So you can walk, you can bike. I mean, it's great. Love it. It's very quiet and peaceful, except for when, you know, the crazies come out driving their, their cars at like Mach 10. Yeah. Yeah, that's the other thing. Um, here where I live which I don't agree with this, uh, there is no leash law. So dogs can run around um, off leash uh, because we're considered to live in a rural area, which it's really not that rural. I mean, it's not like, it's not like I'm looking at cows or anything out my backyard. Um, 
So yeah, I don't agree with that. And we also, first place I've ever lived, there is no noise ordinance. So it doesn't matter how much noise you're making. It, it doesn't matter what time of day or night it is. It doesn't matter. You can you can do whatever you want. Yeah. That's not fun. That's not fun. So yeah, and, and the way this neighborhood is, is like we have, this is a older neighborhood. We have a section. Okay, so the section I'm in is the older part of the neighborhood. And then behind us is a newer section with like crazy expensive, like huge brick houses and stuff. But anyway, so in the older section, we're getting, you know, the, as the cycle goes, um, my hand keeps sticking. Um, we're getting the older people obviously are moving out and younger people are moving in, which is great. Uh, however, because of that, um, we're getting people that, you know, people that don't have kids yet that are partying and carrying on all hours of the night. Fireworks. Yeah. Illegal is crap in this, um, state and county. And yeah, we have people with fireworks. And, and uh, it drives my dogs crazy. They go ape shit. Uh, anyway. But, I mean, in all reality, it is a good thing to get younger people in the neighborhood because then, you know, you get, you know, kids and you get more activity and <clears throat> all that kind of good stuff. So, that's good. That is good. Yeah, and we've got so many things being built around us. Um, Capital One has a huge um, um, business park they've taken over near us. And because of that, uh, just the area all around it has just exploded with growth. Um, so all of the farmland and stuff that was basically right next to where Capital One bought has been purchased by developers and is now like, you know, shit, we have a Wegmans, we have, you know, a apartments and condos and, you know, all kinds of shopping and stuff that wasn't there. I mean, like within the last two years. So because of that, our property value has gone up, which is good and bad. Um, it's good in the aspect of when we go to sell it, yeah, that's going to be great. But while we're still in it and paying taxes on it, um, yeah, um, we bought the house because it is a large house. And I know I've told you guys this before. I mean, it's like almost 4,000 square feet, but we bought the house because it was in, um, a rural County just West of Richmond and the taxes on the property were I mean, they were low. So I was like, okay, we can afford the house. Um, we got the price down. Um, we negotiated quite a bit with the sellers and, um, I was like, that's good. We can, we can afford the house and we can afford the taxes because of where it is. Um, well now the taxes are going up significantly. So we're, we're going to see, um, I would love to stay in this area just not be in a house of this size. Um, I'd like to get a smaller house. Um, yeah, smaller house, not as much maintenance, but yeah, everything out here has just, just grown so much. There's so many things out here now, um, which is good. The convenience side of it is good. We still don't get any kind of delivery yet. I'm, I'm still bummed about that. I was hoping we get some kind of like pizza delivery or, you know, I mean, I can always grub hub it or Uber eats, but you can't just dial up a Domino's and be like, Hey, bring me a pizza show. No, no, they won't come out here. So yeah, not yet. Anyway, not yet. So yeah, but this is the first place I've lived where I actually feel safe being here by myself. Um, 
yeah, everywhere else that I've lived, um, I did not feel safe being by myself. Um, like it was always like in a busy part of town in the city or, you know, around a bunch of people. Um, yeah, I, I feel completely safe. Now, are my doors locked? Sure. Yeah, they're locked, but, um, not that I think anything would happen. Um, we get the occasional person that walks up trying to sell you something like maybe once or twice a year. Um, but that's it. Uh, we had, at one point we had like, I think it was Jehovah's Witnesses come to the door. Um, and I just didn't answer it. So yeah, but for the most part, it's really quiet where I live. It's, it's really nice. I like it a lot. And I love Virginia. It's, it's such a pretty state. Like you get the change of seasons, you know, with the, the trees with the, in the fall and the spring and all the flowers. It's just so beautiful. Love it. Quite a change from um, Arizona because I lived in Arizona for a little bit. Yeah, I, I wasn't a fan of that. I didn't, I didn't like putting, you know, Christmas lights on palm trees. No. Um, and it was just so stinking hot. I mean, it was a dry heat, so, I mean, yeah, that's better than a wet heat, but at the same time, I mean, it was just, it was miserable at times. It really was. And talk about insects and bugs out there, you guys. Oh, my. Yeah. That's, that's always fun when you see, like, scorpions and snakes just chilling out. You know, they would just hang out. The snakes would hang out under your car to get out from the heat. And I'm not talking, like, little snakes. I'm talking, like, rattlesnakes. You know, like, big, big poisonous snakes. Yeah. Yeah. And where I lived, I was lucky in Arizona. I lived in Ahwatukee, which was just outside of Phoenix. Um, but I lived in a, in a nice apartment complex. It was like gated and I had my own parking, covered parking spot and stuff. Um, but there was a nice man that lived, uh, downstairs for me and he was older than me. He was like in his fifties probably at the time. And there was a snake under my car cause you always look, I mean, it was just part of your daily routine. You always, before you got in your car, you looked under your car. Um, to see what was there. Um, and I looked under my car one day and yep, sure enough, there was, there was a rattlesnake curled up and he was just happened to be coming out, taking his trash out. And I, and I freaked out. I, you know, you know, little me with snakes. Um, no. So I screamed like a little girl and started going back to my apartment and he was like, Hey, Hey, what's going on? What's going on? And I was like, there's a snake under my under my car and he was like oh no worries I'll get it he goes back into his apartment comes back out with a no shit like one of the snake sticks like with the grabber on the end like he actually had one and he did he just reached under there grabbed the snake took him over and put him on the other side of the fence um I was like wow okay thanks and he was like yeah if you ever need anything just let me know just knock on the door. I'll, I'll come take care of it. Cause he worked from home. He was some kind of it person. He worked from home. I was like, wow, that was nice. But yeah, it's, it's unsettling when you look under your car and there's like a snake just sitting there looking at you like, uh, yeah. And then we had scorpions really bad out there. Um, you just had to be really careful where you, where you walked and stuff. So, yeah, if anybody's lived in Arizona, they understand what I'm talking about. All kinds of, of crazy, crazy things that you don't normally see in other, other states. So, yeah. Yeah, but I just, I, I like Virginia. I do. Very pretty. Very pretty. Okay. Yeah, I feel like I just haven't gotten a lot of this done. I've worked on this for, what, two 
two days now, two days. Just so much confetti. And even with only 16 colors, it's still just an obscene amount. Let me know if y'all agree, anybody that's working on it. And the other thing I've noticed, I'm getting a lot of trash drills with like, with little bits on the end of them. And I know you get more of that with the square drills than you do with the round drills. But I just seem to be getting quite a bit. And of course, it's with the darker colors, you know, the black and the grays, which is what this whole entire <laughs> kit is for the most part. I think there's some blue, bluish grays in here. Um, and of course, you've got the pink right here for his nose. So, yeah. Oh, and for those um, uh, Crystal Pierce, if you're watching this, I haven't forgotten about you, Shug. Um, I am waiting. I have another package coming in that I'm supposed to get this week. And once I get that package in, I, I ordered a gift for someone. And I'm waiting for that to come in so that I can just take everything to the post office at the same time. So I haven't forgot about you. I know, I know you want your patty wax show. I'm going to get it to you. I promise. Um, but hopefully, hopefully I can get up there this weekend. At the latest, it'll be Monday. Um, I'll get it shipped out. So just FYI. Get it sent out to you. Oh, and I, I found out the coolest thing. So, and maybe some of you knew this. I didn't know this. So I ran a... a uh, event in February in my Facebook group. Um, it was animal art February and um, the winner got a coloring book of their choice from Amazon uh, within, you know, a certain budget. Well, the winner, and I didn't even think about it, the winner was from the UK. I was like, oh, how am I going to do this, you know? Well, I was able to log on to Amazon UK under my Amazon Prime account that I have here in the United States. And I was able to go ahead and order her a book on Amazon UK just through my account. I had no idea I could do that. Like, I thought I was going to have to create a new account and, you know, go through all of that. Nope. And so I was able to use my, my prime shipping to get her the book within two days. Isn't that great? So knowing that now I know for sure that I can open up my, um, events to, um, you know, international. Uh, it's, it's just, it's cool, especially, you know, cause I have a lot of people uh, a lot of subscribers and friends in, in the UK. So that's pretty cool that I can do that. I had no idea. Maybe I've been living under a rock, but I didn't know that. Um, cause that way I don't have to, you know, order the book here. Um, then pay like, you know, have it paid to get shipped here and then take it to a post office and then pay shipping out to, the UK. I can just have it done all straight through through Amazon UK. So that was pretty cool. Pretty cool. I'm sure a lot of you probably knew about that, but I did not. So learn something new every day. In fact, I hear my, my mail person right now. I'm excited. I ordered things from um, who did I order it from? Um, who did I order that from? It was an Etsy shop. What Etsy shop was it? Um, hold on, I'll tell you. It was one I hadn't tried before. I'm trying different Etsy shops for different things. And it is Happy Hippo Finds. 
So I ordered some cover minders from Happy Hippo Finds and a drill collector, which I really like. Um, the way that uh, Happy Hippo Finds does this, they actually put each of their orders on Instagram. So if you follow them on Instagram, it shows you all the different orders that are going out. And my order was on there. It was really cool. So, yay. Yay. So, anyway. Uh, let me know, has anybody ordered from Happy Hippo Finds? Um, yeah. I think the owner's name is uh, Elizabeth Wheeler. Is that right? I think so. But anyway, so yeah, I'm supposed to get that today. And yeah. So I will keep you posted on that. Um, okay. Yeah, these are. Uh, these C's. And, and I'm really slow with these, so I'm sorry, you guys. This is probably really a boring... boring. I'm going to swap pens here because my other one's already loaded up with wax. Um, this is probably boring because of how slow I'm being. Oh, here, let me move, back, move it back a little bit so you can see. And Blue's just up there sleeping. Yeah, he has to be wherever I am. I think it's due to his hearing loss. Like, he, he can't... He has to know where I am so that he doesn't, like... I don't know. He doesn't freak out. He, like, he, he follows me around way more than normal now that he can't hear. So, yeah. All right. Well, this is, this is going a lot better than I thought it would. I'll bet y'all didn't think I was going to do this, did you? Because it was square. But you know what? I'm doing it. And it's not, it's not too bad. It's not too bad. It just looks crooked, but I know, like I said, I know that will, I know that they will straighten out, um, once you get all of the the squares on. Okay, so this pen is from Pizzazzed DP Pen. And in this pen, I'm using um, wax from Whimsical Daisies. This one is Loopy. So this wax is pretty cool. Um, it's a lot more... Um, what's the word I'm looking for? softer and like it almost reminds me of like a, a really thick lotion but it works really well works really well it's not leaving any residue um so that's good and it lasts it lasts pretty good pretty good length of time okay I'm gonna do this last little bit. I know I saw one somewhere. Y'all are probably sitting there going, it's right there in front of your face. <laughs> okay, here there. There's some down here. I'll finish these down here and then call it a day. Go out to the mailbox and see see what I got. Going to the mailbox is good too, because that's my exercise for the day because we have such a a long driveway. But it's nice because our house is set back off the road so you can't really... You can see it. We had a bunch of trees taken out when we moved in um, to open up the front area. But, like, you can see the house but, like, you can't see in the house. You know what I mean? But, yeah. Okay. There we go. All right. So it is definitely coming along. Let me move this up a little bit so you can see. Oh, not me. 
So yeah, so I got all the whiskers. Does it help if I turn it off? Yeah, so I got all the whiskers on the bottom part done. Um, I got all of the 310, the black done um, up to his nose. And now I'm working on all the different grays. So that's what's going on with me. So anyway, I do thank all of you for watching. Um, those of you that are new, um, please hit that subscribe button and ring the bell and you'll know when I put up a video. Uh, usually it's on Tuesdays for coloring, Thursdays for diamond painting, and then Sundays are usually a whip and chat um, of my choice, generally diamond painting. Um, it's easier for me to chat while I diamond paint instead of chat while I color. Um, and then sometimes I'll just throw up a random video like I did uh, yesterday. I just threw up a Etsy, Etsy finds and an unboxing video. So yeah, but I appreciate everybody watching. Thank you so much. I hope everybody has a fabulous Thursday and a wonderful weekend. And I will see you all again um, Sunday. Oh, there's Blue. He's getting up. Bye, Blue. Bye, guys. See you Sunday.